see durvasa muni he was not able to control his anger he was not able to control his emotions and because of that he was in an unnecessary argument you know just over a tri trivial matter with maharaj ambarish and then krishna had to intervene in that relationship to make everything okay but then it is it is going on to explain that what is the position of maharaj ambarish and why is his position greater than that of even durvasa muni it is explained that Maharaj Ambarish fixed his mind on the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, engaged his words in describing the abode of the Lord, his hands in cleansing the temple of the Lord, his ears in hearing the pastime of the Lord, his eyes in seeing the form of the Lord, and his nostrils and his body in touching the devotees of the Lord, in embracing the devotees of the Lord, his nostrils in smelling the flowers and the tulasi mixed with chandan and camphor and aguru that was offered to the lotus feet of the Lord, smelling that. His legs in traveling to the holy places where the Lord's temples are situated, his head in offering obeisances unto the Supreme Lord, and his desires, his desires in fulfilling the desires of the Lord. Very important point. That not just his with his senses and his body is Maharaj Ambarish engaging in service of the Lord, but even in his mind, even with his desires, he is having the same desire as the Lord. He is fulfilling the desire of the Supreme Lord. And all of these qualifications made him fit to become a Matpara devotee of the Lord. Matpara means my dearest, a dearest devotee of the Lord that how Maharaj Ambarish utilized each and every one of his senses, his body, his mind, his intelligence, everything in the service of Krishna, everything in the service of Krishna. So Maharaj Ambarish is glorious, glorious devotee. And then text it. <laughs>